decide the outcome. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be fun to watch. And now All right, everybody, let's get right back into things. Thank you for hanging with us. I apologize for the delay. But, you know, we wanted to get something special for you guys. We just want to put uh, a regular matchup after you guys seeing T. Davis and Evil O. So we went out and we got a little man who's currently on offense using a 49er versus young nephew with those Bengals. So let's get right into this. Your M squared is, is getting settled in. And we're um we, we're in for a good one here. These are two veteran Madden players, guys who have competed against each other at MLG. Guys who have competed against each other in different Madden challenges. This is gonna be a special one. Nephew is Bengals, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Nephew is Bengals. And Little Man Little is, man is the 49ers. 49ers. So yes, let's see what Little Man can do in offense. Now, and again, remember, as I said earlier, Little Man will get better as the day goes on. Uh, this, is, this is a unique scenario for him now because he's playing nephew. So let's see what, let's see what he grabs from nephew. Okay. You know, I tell you, he'll like he'll take the best aspect that you have and find a way to implement it into his game. Into his game. Okay. So let's see if he can make it through this round. Let's see what he grabs. If he can't make it through this round again, it's double elimination. So he'll have a shot later on today. So it can work out both ways. Oh, a broken play turned into a first down. He got hit as he threw. To Moss got a first down across the middle. And we're going to go right away to the challenge. Uh, okay, depth chart. Now, okay. let's see. Are there, I guess this is courtesy because in my day, this required a timeout. I agree. You stopping the clock. Yeah, uh, pretty much. You make an adjustment. You give me a timeout. To the open receiver, and we've seen it so many times. Draw to the guy is open. But I guess it's, you know, I'm being friendly. You know, I'm friendly with everybody, but once we play, you know, I mean, I'm serious. As, as close as we're sitting, as cool as we are, if we're competing against each other, yeah, um, I'll talk to you after the game, man. I don't got nothing. It's no courtesy. It's no nothing. You know, you sneeze, I'm not saying God bless you. You know, you drop your controller, I'm not going to let you bend down and get it, you know. <laughs> it just is what it is. It's kill or be killed, man. <laughs> you know, and a lot of, you know, and to, uh, just to keep it, keep talking about that, there are, you know, guys aren't used to, guys aren't comfortable with competing anymore. And competing is, you can, you can want to destroy your opponent or your good friend and y'all still be friends it's just competition there's nothing personal about it is when you come to play you don't you can't expect me to to not give you anything but my best you can't expect me to give you a break there's no breaks there's, there's no breaks. competition you know i, I agree and uh especially on the gridiron in real life oh, yeah. you know, it's it's a war out there so you know you got to come to these competitions with that same mentality as well So it looks like uh, looks like Young Neff is kind of getting exposed off that zone defense, but uh, we'll see if he makes any adjustments. Looks like he's showing a heavy blitz right now. You can see how Little Man is is has moved into the red zone quickly, rather quickly, moved downfield rather quickly. Yes, he did. And I'm seeing what you guys are seeing. So you have uh, you have us in the top. Shout out to everybody watching. We appreciate you following us. You see our competitors on the right side. Um, and you see the game in the, in the middle of uh, you know spread out between both of us. So uh, it looks like that's, that's pocket man presence right there. Patience was able to get in the end zone. He let the receivers clear that out for him and just ran up the middle now a couple years back during MLG so that had been 2010 we uh, ran this kind of gimmicky quarterback draw and what it was is we would take the tight formation we'll send all receivers in on slants right everybody slant inside and cross the defense up and left a hole in the middle for the quarterback to take advantage of I'm not saying that's exactly what happened but that reminds me of 
Oh, yeah. that. No, that time. So is that considered like a glitch? Uh, people complained about it. They called it a glitch then. It was never a glitch. It was actually a good offense. Um, it's effective offense. People were upset that it was too effective, but sometimes things in football are too effective. You know? You can't get a uh, can't be upset at uh, Peyton Manning if he keeps forcing your defense to go off sides because you're trying to substitute when he's running no huddle. That's not a glitch. That's just a part of the game. You got to don't substitute. <laughs> you know exactly. So don't play man to man if you see that. You stay in zone or something like that, or you have to sit in the middle and play it yourself. The thing is, guys expect everything to be done for them by the computer and don't want to play actual defense. Defense, you have to give something up. You know, offense will, offense will allow you in, but every defense there is a weakness to every defense. You can't, there's no such thing as a perfect defense. And, and this is coming from someone who, I played defense. I played strong safety in college. It's, there's something, there's a weakness in everything we do. It's just our, our, our job to disguise this stuff. And guys just aren't willing to accept certain football fundamentals when it comes to these games. Looks like Young Neff is trying to move the ball. Hands it off to Scott. Mm -hmm. Got stopped on fourth and one. Huh. Little man is showing his defensive prowess. Little wow. man is uh. Woo! That swagger, man. You got that swagger. Yeah, it looks like. So this it's is like Little game. Man is really showing what he's about on defense yeah, right now. Yeah, and this is a game that Nephew, unlike other players who he may play, he may feel that he has in a bag. This is a game where he knows if he don't get things together, it could be over. You know. Agreed. I mean, this isn't a – Little Man is not one of those players where if you're behind, you can ever feel comfortable. Hmm. Point taken. Again, we're here at local battles, local battles in Fort Lee, New Jersey. 1207 Anderson Avenue. Yes, sir. Please come down. We're going to be here at least up until, I believe, 8 p.m., 8.30. That sound about right? That'd be, that'd be great. The earlier the better. I got a nice little ride back. <laughs> the wife hasn't have it called yet, so that's a good news, right? That is great. <laughs> yeah, wifey is at a wedding right now, so I'm, I'm pretty in the clear as well. That's, that's, that's good stuff. You know, I have. Uh, I was telling you earlier, I have a 17-year-old for guys who, you know, people who don't know. That's why I am, I, I'm actually an old head. I don't like that, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Got a 17-year-old. Who I am prepping to become a Madden player. Mm -hmm. uh, he is a 2K player right now, okay. but uh, he's away at a college visit today. Uh, we're checking out Lehigh University. Um, I have my two girls with me, and uh, my youngest son is uh, with my wife and his bigger brother as well today. So, you know, got an opportunity to come enjoy some good Madden. And, uh, you know, show my daughter so that, you know, one day they can be cool wives who love video games and football. And that's important. Exactly. That's I'll important in this day and age. So, you know, I will, I'm extremely strict. Uh, guys, y'all can't come and talk to my daughters. I will <laughs> run your resume down. Uh, I know all the tricks. I know all the, I know how to read BS. So, you know, I know we're looking at Madden right now, but, you know, it's never a bad time to let you know that I protect you. My daughters. <laughs> You've been forewarned by uh, Philly Ron. Don't mess with his. Uh, Don't mess with the girls, man. Tell him. And they will be. They're gamers as well. Uh, I have a house full of gamers, man. So this uh, this is a good thing. I'm trying to. Uh, and I also have a, a lady who I will be um, trying to bring out. I have I have a female that I know. Um, childhood friend who's a Madden player. Get out of here, man. I told her that if she actually knows how to play, she put a tweet up, a picture on Instagram of her kicking some dude behind. 
Get out of here. They said, yeah, he thought it was sweet. And I like, beat him, beat him. <laughs> so I said, listen, we got to get you out because you represent, uh, you bring in, you'll bring in sponsors, period. I don't care what anybody say, a female Madden player wow, that's will bring people to an event. And that will be a rarity. Oh, my God. And hopefully, yeah. you know, we can premiere here, here. Oh, yeah, we can bring her up. On C4 uh, Madden, the C4 Madden tournament, the next one we show. Looks yes, like sir. Young Neff scored on this drive. He is up. Actually, he's still down 10-7. Seven a little, man. But as what we're seeing here is this is more of an offensive game already because this two minutes. There's only three minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. These are four-minute covers because this is a four. This is a round four of our. Uh, this is the final four of our finals. Not our finals of our winner's bracket. Okay. So uh, this is a four-minute game here so you know it's kind of it's doing a, a little bit of good scoring here look at that he's chasing that underneath route oh, mm. good pass to Davis. so and if you're out here again more than likely you may be already a Madden player I don't know what you consider yourself as far as skill wise again I know everybody who's probably listening is the best Madden player in their area I understand that mm -hmm. um However, that means nothing until you actually come to an event. Uh, you know what, Philly Ron? Just to let the people know out there, let's say there's people out there looking at this this stream and they're saying, you know what, I don't really play Madden like that, but I love football. What advice would you give someone that's starting to play John Madden football? Um, like the basics and, and what, yeah. what to start off with? What, I, what I've done or what I've tried to do from the beginning was emulate find what the game does that emulates real life and the reason why i say that is if you can find a play you know one two three or four plays in your playbook that work as they would in real life okay you'll be successful playing this game because the logic will be the same as it is in real life so if you look for certain things they'll open up if you uh, see the defense do something, you'll know where to go because of the same logic from real life. Some of these are video game plays and they work that way. I know everything that EA put in this came from actual football, however, uh, some of them don't work as they should. You know, that's just it is what it is. So if you can find something that emulates football 100%, you'll be more successful because your logics will hold true as you move through your office. You heard it first from uh, Philly Ron, uh, giving the advice to people that wants to start playing uh, Jam on football. It's definitely a game of chess. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. And, and real quick, one of the easiest offenses to grasp or start off with is the spread off. And I, you know, I, read, I wrote a guide on that a couple, couple years ago, teaching people how to do that. Um, I have no problem sharing the inf information on there. Basically, your spread offense, and you're seeing a lot of tight offense here. You're seeing, you're seeing four receiver sets, which tell a defense that you're in spread. All right. Okay. But as a coach from the sideline, if I see four receivers running in, I'm considering. I, I see that as a pass attack. Regardless of how you have them aligned, I see that as a pass attack. Uh, so when you're running four wide receiver let's just say spread four wide, four wide receiver spread um, there's two quick there's two plays that you can use all day long Court, uh, halfback draw and curl flats all right come out to the off come out to the field four wide receivers two on each side um, spread out and what you're first going to look for is you're going to count how many people are in the box. Like we're looking at, right, at this right here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven people in the box, right? And the box is the tackle box. Let's say you're just looking at in between the hashes. All right. If you have seven people in the box, you want to pass the ball. All right. You're going to go to your first uncovered receiver, which in most cases in the spread, which is a two by two look, is going to be your slot. One of your slot receivers is going to be uncovered. Uh, go to that guy. All right. If you are, if you are six defenders or less in the box, run your halfback draw. You have five men on defense. You have five offensive linemen. You have five, four to five defensive linemen. Right. 
Um, and you just have to make one player miss. He has a running back. It's as simple as that. Now, who, who am I to tell a person how to run offense? Okay, that offense is used by, uh, let's say, college, Oregon. It was uh, Auburn with Cam Newton. And the pros is Denver. That's the Peyton Manning offense. It was the same offense when he was a Colt. It's the same offense that New England uses. It's a little more complex. They use some more different personnel groups, but it's the same offense. They use the same concept. They come to the line. They check how many people are in the box. If it's not anybody, if it's not, if they have matchup numbers in the box, they go, they run the ball. If they have a matchup with an uncovered slot, they'll go to the slot run. It's, it's easy football. It's football technically can be extremely boring when it's played right the right way because you can like wow they just keep pounding us out but that's efficient football and that's what the good teams actually do so if you want to get you know become average and had opportunity to become better just start off with some spread offense you know you heard it first in philly ron again he's uh written for prima guy yeah i wrote the madden guides from 2003 until 2010. uh coach football at the pop warner uh midget uh level which is 13 to 16 year old boys i coached that since 2008. uh won the pop warner Nat super bowl um in 2008 our first year undefeated uh gave him 12 points that entire year wow um, again, the Pop Warner Super Bowl is the biggest. It's like JV. Uh, it's like a national championship for JV football. Um, the game was played on the championship game was played on ESPN on Christmas Day. Okay. So it, it, it was major, man. It, it was major. So I appreciate all my coaches that I've coached with, uh, Coach Rashid Muhammad. Uh, the Franklin Chargers, uh, Coach Meggett, uh, Coach DS, Coach Rob, uh, Coach Byron, Coach uh, Rashid Muhammad Sr., who's now down in Atlanta. Um, all those guys had, had a major impact. Uh, Coach Lorenzo and Mr. Uh, Mr. Ed. We, we've had, uh, it's had a great impact on these kids. And, uh, we'll just hope continue to, 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 to keep doing it. Looks, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Looks like... Uh, His nephew yes. is uh, climb within three. Probably the most points we've seen from these guys all day. Yeah, this early, you know, because I think that I can't remember the score between him and Mike, but uh, we know he won that kind of handily. But he didn't. Matter of fact, he didn't score that. He went like I think it might have been 21 or 24. So it's looking like they're going to eclipse that in this uh, already. Yes, that's what it looks like for sure. Um, little man, it looks like. See, you, I, I don't. I know this is effective offense, but I don't know how how much you want to keep going back to the same play against nephew without disguising it. Because you see, he's he's just sitting on everything. Like now, look at this. Everything is covered. Yeah, and then he gets picked see, off. I just want to say, you can't Maluga. keep going to the, You cannot keep going to the same thing against great players and little man has enough uh, experience enough common sense to know you can't do that I, I i don't i don't get that well let's see if young nephew can capitalize on this turnover first and ten on the 23 yard line you hear the crowd in the background absolutely tell them about little man saying oh that's pat willie right there pat willis patrick willis does not Play games. That's a grown man out there playing football. <laughs> so, let's see. Second and 13. Young Neff steps back. Throws Ooh, the ball while it. he's hit. Oh. And it's almost intercepted in the end zone by Little Man. Wow. Uh, tough. It's tough right now. Looks like Little Man, according to what I can see uh, of the strategy, he's going into a, a blitz. incomplete. And it brings up third down. The quarterback's five. Six in the box. Steps back to throw. The quarterback. Good, good. Oh. Oh! oh! Turnover. Little wow. man gets the ball back. Who hit him? Is that Whitner? That is truly a Golson or Whitner? Yo, no, listen. What a hit. Them safeties for San Fran will punish you. 
at their safe at the second and third level, whether it's a linebacker level or those safety, they will punish the hell out of you when you're playing against those 49ers. And that's why you normally see guys out here using the 49ers, using the Packers. These guys have high hip power. Uh, for the for the Packers is more of a high press by their corners and the speed. Um, but you see why guys like to play defense with the 49ers. These guys can hit, man. 49ers definitely in the past couple of years have stepped up their game immensely with the pieces around uh, Smith. Oh, man. Turnover. Lost it. I told you, that's that Lawson. 90 speed linebacker, man. Looks and like he he's has going a to the house. opportunity. Woo, here we go. Um, young nephew with the turn yeah, with the guys interception. Stepping up. They're stepping it up here. Talk about this, a defensive suit in the last minute and a half. Got that eye for him. Are we going to go off tackle here? Yes, he is. Hands it off. That's good defense, man. Little man. I can say expected off tackle, but is prepared for that based on that formation. His defensive end, can, you know, held the edge and didn't let him go outside. He had to cut that thing back up inside. So now it looks like he's inviting Nephew to try to run through the middle. He's going to blow that thing up. Look at this. Good Lord. Oh, wow. He had it there. Sometimes the smartest play is to just throw that ball out of bounds. I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of guys who try to sit in there and force or just get blown up. So a smart player can you go ahead and take off, and while you run it, hurry up and get that ball out your hand, throw it out of bounds. Young Neff trying to score on this drive, third and goal. Throws it in. Oh! Oh! Touchdown, Young Neff takes the lead in this game. A.J. Green. To A.J. Green. Third quarter. Wow. Great action here, 21-17. Young Neff starting to get a crowd here. Oh, yeah. Again, we're here at local battles in Fort Lee, New Jersey. 12 7 mm -hmm. Fort Lee, New Jersey. 12 Lee, 7 Anderson Avenue, I apologize, in Fort Lee, New Jersey. Local battles come down. The competition's stiff. You know what I'm saying? We got my man Casper about to bite into a... Looks like a cheeseburger. Loving it. I feel like I'm trying to take some shots right now. Yeah, send this stuff up to Instagram for you guys. Little man with the ball in the pocket. Passes to Davis. Another first down. We've got a little less than 50 seconds left in the third quarter. Young Neff up 21-17. Little man trying to get back on the board here. Oh, screen, screen pass. pass to Gore. Sir. Oh, beautiful oh, wow. stick what work a cut. right there. Sheesh. Okay, little man going with the no huddle. Let's see if... Uh... Oh, shouts out to the chat room. You know, whenever you see this man, and I know he knows I'm about to mention his name. Whenever you see this man, you've got to acknowledge him. You know, as that, that man is uh, K-Star, a.k.a. Ali Quick. See him in the chat room. Uh, you know, we wanted to see you out here today, man. We know um, we know you're eager to compete, so we can't wait to, uh, can't wait to see you. And shout out to, uh, you know, I see Shopmaster in here. Matter of fact, let's just run through this real quick. Some of the yeah, guys we see in the chat room. Ali Quick, a.k.a. K-Star, Shopmaster. Handle is my Madden pad. Free Mike Vick, Nick Jagger. Who else I got? Uh, Mr. Hit Sticks. Adjust. Uh, shut down. Who else? Who else? So, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, I, I reach back out to you guys. Say what's up to you guys. We appreciate your support. Please uh, yes. tell others, man, that this thing is going on. Yes, we are. Get this popping, battles. man, like we normally have our our uh, chat rooms going. Uh, get that thing popping and let them know to, to get in here, man. Yeah, right now it is really tight right now. 21-17 game. Looks like Young Neff called the timeout. Want to uh, slow down the pace of the game. Who is this dirt? I can't, I can't see your name, my man, because you got it on, like, neon, but it's dirty something. <laughs> Droops or something like that, yeah. 
All right, so we got to get back to the action. But again, we want we appreciate everybody. Um, we appreciate everybody uh, supporting, supporting the chat. You hear the background. You hear the background. <laughs> That's little man right there. That's what's happening to this defense right now. little man right there. Just uh, frustrated right now. Can't move the ball. Young Nuff's defense is really stepping it up right now. Ah, oh, now he's going to use that uh, Kirkpatrick or Copernic, whatever his name is. That's what we told you earlier. The difference between Alex Smith and this guy is this guy gives you opportunity to show that uh, he can scramble the ball. Yeah, to, 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 to bring in a different element when, when playing off it. Oh, you know? Dropped it in the end zone. You know, it's like a Mike Vick compared to a Ben Roethlisberger. You actually gotcha. can run the ball with Mike Vick. You know, that's just a little jab at uh, K Star. <laughs> as we we, uh, we go back and forth at each other all the time. <laughs> oh, but no, Roethlisberger is, of course, he's a, he's probably the best uh, mobile quarterback in the game. Him besides, and, uh, uh, besides Aaron Rodgers. No, mobile quarterback. I say Roethlisberger because he can scramble. Um, it still makes stuff stuff happen without losing the ball. True. You know, I like I like Vic because that's my quarterback. I like Cam Newton, but they they tend to, to make too many mistakes. It seems like so. You know, Roethlisberger got that championship pedigree. I can't take that from. Him. I don't I don't like him, but uh, I can't take that from. Him. Exactly. Speaking of, uh, well, let's see right here before we I go into my question. Uh, let's see if Little Man can score on this drive. Oh, oh no, they're stingy out there. Malaluga or Penne, Penu, whatever his name is. Looks like Little Man's going with the no huddle coming through red zone at the one yard line. Watch out for the uh, QB sneak. Motion back to a fullback dive. Nope. Oh, off tackle. Oh, Stop that. Yes. Not going to tell him, May. The one goal he line. Not going to give anything up. Fourth and goal we'll for Little Man. Oh, this could be, this could be this the could game. This could be the game right here. Oh, and he, he didn't stopped. get it. He didn't he got get it. Stop. Talk wow. about a defensive foul wow. for Young Neff. Wow. Incredible. That was the best defensive stance at the goal wow. line all day today, hands down. You got the room. You got the chat room saying, "Ida went for the field goal and indeed up." And wow. But now, hold on. He got to get out of this. Oh! Intercepted by Little Man. He got to get out that situation. This man. has been the best game wow. all day here at local battles. What a battle between wow. Young Nev, Little Man, point game. So unreal. Yeah, you have to clap that wow. up because that is amazing. This is, this is an amazing game right now. With two minutes left in the fourth quarter, Young Nev decides to take a knee. Down three, 21-24. Yeah. Talk about a defensive stance at the goal line. But then to turn it over at the one. Man, listen, the, the, the energy is starting to pick up. It's starting to get like goosebumps, starting to get <laughs> hype. Nah, for real, because I, I, I see the action that's going on in the field. I, I, I see every, I, I, I got the feel of the event behind us. Everybody's behind us looking at our screens. You got people behind the competitors. And at the same time, I'm looking in the chat room, and I got the chat room is going crazy talking about the game and it's this is what this is what tournaments this, this is what they what turn into they, they start off slow as the day continues the pressure gets you know start touching oh, people now all of a sudden you see tate who's been clutched with neff all day start dropping balls and some stuff so this is um this is what this thing it's about. is getting it's, it's this getting is, tight man this, this is what it's about this is the first of its kind like we said we're in fort lee new jersey the c4 madden 13 tournament first of its kind streaming live at local battles please come down come check out check it out if you can't go online this game is incredible right now oh, oh aj green. green and that is Wide that so-called paco route that post corner route where you can hit the receiver as he breaks in on his fake or when he breaks out of it. and neff hit him on the outside outside portion of that neff takes the lead with a minute 33 left in the fourth quarter he's up 28 24 he has one timeout. Little Man has all his timeouts left. Let's see what Little Man can do at this point. Put it back on big screen. Let's see. Uh, the chat is asking, can they get the full screen? So let's throw that back to full screen for them if possible so that they can focus in on the game. 
Can we put that back to full screen? There it is. Oh, there we go. Thank See, you. listen, man. We out here listening to you guys. We, we got our eyes on the chat room. We give you what you want. Uh, again, we're at local battles. We got the owner over here actually running production for us, man. Can this you believe it? Great. Without him right now, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah, and you guys Shout are benefiting to, uh, from, you know, to Jonathan. An, awesome, an awesome event, man. Just an awesome event. I was calling him Josh all day, so I apologize <laughs> to Jonathan about that. And now they have a pretty good chance <laughs> to get the first down. The quarterback's calling something out. Little man oh, intercepted oh, by oh, now, Young there, Nap. There go that, there go that pedigree. There go that young pedigree. Nap. And what did he do? On I'm going to lay on this ball and make this man spend money. Make him spend that money. Yeah, this, this is true. Uh, Philly Ron's been saying that all day about laying on the, you know, staying on the ball. Making yeah. him earn his time and, out. And, and what you see here is you, you, you look over at the chat and you just see everybody start to throw up GG, right? Because <laughs> what that means is this, this game is over. It's Pretty a good much. game. It's just, it, it, that's it. It's a wrap. You know, you don't need, you don't need for us to even play this out. That was a, a, a heartbreaker turnover. Yes, sir. By a little man. But he, he put up a gallon effort. Well, it's a minute left in the fourth quarter. We don't know what's yeah, going to happen. I mean, anything's possible. Anything's However, possible. And, and let's give credit to the man who actually came up with that. That uh, saying. It was uh, our good friend, uh, Los. Uh, from my from Miami from the Miami area, I believe it was those from Miami, y'all. Uh, but his thing was uh, he would just say, "Good game, rematch. Good game, no Reese." So <laughs> you know, no great game. Uh, you get opportunity back. Uh, hell no, keep it moving. Oh, and, <laughs> and young Neff. Tampa. Okay, yeah, he's from uh, he's from Tampa. Young Neff just scores another first, got a first down. down. That's a wrap. And it looks like little man has got up. He's shaking his head. Yeah, it looks like the game is So that right. pretty much means it's a wrap. Nephew has locked in. Nephew is now playing with headphones on and not um, He's focused. He's not, focused. not talking to anybody anymore. It's just getting personal.